<clears throat> Hello, I'm Shot on Netfest, and welcome to Age of Mythology Extended Edition. Um, so a game which I played a long time ago, and I sort of downloaded for Steam and just start playing again. So we'll start a single player campaign. Played it before, so I don't really need the learn to play, but if you haven't played it before, it'd be wise to have it. So, Fall of the Trident. That seems to be the main first campaign. Moderate difficult, we'll see how that goes. I'm never really good at these difficulty settings, they always fail miserably. But prologue, trouble with sleep. Athena comes in a dream to set Arcantos, Arcantos upon his quest. So, if you haven't played Age of Mythology before, it's it's an offshoot of Age of Empires. So, basically, you build up a city, build up units in from buildings, build up all your economy f and to, to power those units, and then you fight and kill other players. This has a sort of mythology tinge. It's also a bit of sort of rock paper scissors element, like all games of this sort of genre. And then we're going to look for the nice narration. Dream world. Graphics are on point. <laughs> Ooh, daylight. Daylight cycle quite quick here. Oh, what's she saying? What are she in her dreams? His dreams. Oh, you're the goddess. I can't. You do something about it. You could just keep like that. It's very awkward for him to sit in. Very shadowy kilt. So I've played on on this sort of new edition before. The only time I played was on disc, so it'd be nice to see if they change any graphics from the originals, any change in mechanics perhaps from the originals. But chapter one omens. We're now in the Atlantis Atlant the Atlantean main capital city thing. <laughs> Very nice socks or shoes, I don't know what they are. Well, where's the task at four? Greek colonies? I thought the this is a Greek continent if we round. Release the Kraken. I think that's what they, I think that's what they meant to say. That poor archer is just shooting it like nothing. Run away, archer! Run away! Basically, it's just left click, drag, right click, move, attack. So, heroes are good against myths. Myths are good against humans. Humans are good at mostly ish good against heroes. That's sort of the new tinge from Age of Empires, the sort of rock, paper, scissors element to it. Of course, there's the classic archers are good against spearmen, spearmen are good against swords, and swords are good against bows, or cavalry also are good against bows. Catapults are good against buildings, sort of that sort of thing. My mission is to defend the harbour from um, um, uh, more pirates. So I can hide Toxitase from Archie Range, which I'll do that now. And I could try and build medium Archie, but I have no wood. So let's try and look at my city. These are this is my settlement, town centre. Produce villagers to do different jobs like farm, get wood, harvest gold. And let's keep spurting them out and try and get some more wood. That's what I need at the moment. Special thing in mythology is faith, but I don't have to deal with that now because I'm going to temples to get faith from. But let's see, I can also improve my 
human weapons at let's get closer so I can shoot the try and shoot the ship oh no I missed but these are just enemy mil axemen I'm gonna sign a Kantos um, number one unit, just in case I need to move him up quickly. Control crates. Hello. Okay, let's get some gold. Um. So yeah, control, control and the number assigns anything you have under that to that number to, for quick ease selection. I can also group these. Like make them number two. These ten toxicities. Um, let's see how these are doing. So if I want to get Kantos over here, I can. And if I want to get number two here, and here, get this Petropoli at um, number four. Oh no, need. I destroyed the back sail ship. But oh, this is a transport ship because it has a little flag sticking out of it. I really need to get out of the way. Catapults are quite useful against ships. If they can hit him. Obviously, ships can't go on land and patrol I can't go on water. So I got army four leagues away is the Atlantean army, which is an arbitrary amount of distance based on how much I destroy people for. I'm going to get some more food, so I'm going to... This is the God Power Rain. So this is another thing with Age of Mythology. Um, each age you go in for unlocks a God Power. This is the God Power Rain. Technically it's for Ra, Ra's God Power, but this game, the two campaigns very liberal with its who should, who should, who should be a God Power of what. Trouble I make number three to deal with this landing parting. And then there's yeah, as I say, the human units aren't doing particularly brilliant at at killing the Kraken. But the Kraken's just stop there doing nothing because there's nothing to reach. Yeah, I can't really do anything with these docks. But yeah, humans aren't particularly good against myth units. So my rain power is still active. I have to get rid of farms, but I don't actually have any farming at the moment, so it's a bit awkward. Most of them are doing hunter gathering. We need to do some research, like I can research, or even armoring. Like I can improve my human soldiers. I can improve my attack, my hack, my my arm, my. Pack armor and my pierce armor. So you look at um, like a toxitose. Seven attack, fifty percent hack armor, fifty percent pierce armor, fifteen range. It's a range unit, and I've, during the course of my ages, I can increase their attack, defense, what have you. I must upgrade them, like upgrade medium infantry or medium art. I get medium archers. That'd be useful to have. Yes, I could, I didn't I gathered that. But my trouble I are too close to fire. See that the, that ship couldn't actually offload its cargo because I killed it too quickly, so they sort of all drowned at sea, which is highly awkward. Let's let's see the restoration. This basically heals my units for a particular amount of time. Everything's sort of pretty healed anyway. The heroes sort of naturally rejuvenate. They're also quite strong and have a recharge bar for a special unit, which is a look. It's a morale, morale boost. If I right click, I can look at all his stats, but I won't because well, that sort of pauses the game. If you want, to, if you want to look at certain unit stats and what their improvements are. There's a few things up here, like there's a te technology tree. 
tactics allowed to get, which basically sees what all I can do, which is a bit useless at the moment because I'm just this sort of an intro level campaign. Oh, yeah, Shark gonna be fun, but two leagues probably Atlantean army gets here. So a Kraken, and it's not gonna be the last. Oh, all the ships, all the ships. I'm gonna send my toxic, my number two toxitains there. Send my number one, my number four there. Yeah, oh that old girl guy got a bit too close and just got thrown into thrown into death. And one's going over here. And this scorp this scorpion man has been a bit awkward. Oh, he's dead now. Stuck by a rock. Basically, when the Atlantean army gets there, it gets it gets in more troops. Be some sort of final push by the um final push by the armies. I could get some more toxitos for that. I think I'm gonna population. I got 74 at 95 population space, so. 20 more of a normal base unit. I think Carol will take two units. And so do heroes. Look, top takes two P population space. Oh, dear God. I didn't see this here. Use of Anubites. I'm sort of a bit screwed. Luckily, I've got the new army. Isn't that fortunate? Led by. Atlanta. Yeah, I can't just fail, but it doesn't. They don't. Heroes don't die. They just be give it less useful. And this one's led by Polita. The sort of standard heroes that all the players can have. My doc failed. Defeat the Anabites. Defeat the Kraken. These are my his past pests. We got Centaur, which is my, which is one of my, is one of my myth units. Which I can get. They're running away. Yeah, we won. So that's the first scenario chapter out of the way. Introduction to bit village stuff, a bit of combat, mostly bit combat. Oh no, oh no, they sold the Poseidon's trident. Oh dear lord, what have they done? Oh no, what does this possibly mean? Yes, it was stolen during the fighting. Chaos. There could not be a clearer sign, Arcantos. We are losing Poseidon's favor. Well, that's a bit dubious, the aircraft. Obviously, the gods do exist. So, that's displeasing them. Maybe to work on your face. Next scenario. So, chapter two, consequences. So I guess I've tracked down the, the Kamos guy. Tracked down his ships. Is he doing his shoelaces? Okay, I don't know what the instructions were, but now I need, now I need to start 
this campaign from scratch. So I need a temple. Let's put a temple. No, I haven't got enough population. But I'm going to search about. Um, explore the coast. Population limit we reach. I really need to build houses. I had something. Really build a house. So you can use um, keyboard shortcuts to, to for fast forward building. So this is a black sails pirate ship. Ah, oh, some pigs, that's what I've been found. So, uh, now that I've got a temple, I can go into the next age. So, I can select a classical age minor god over choice between two Ares and Hermes. Ares gets Cyclops and some Cyclops upgrades, and some Pins Pacifist and Poxides upgrades, and Hoplite upgrades. So, basically, it improves my human. Improves my human soldiers. Pestilence. Prevent, I prevent any military builds in between the military units. Hermes. I can create a ceasefire. To stop any war for some time. Centaur, which is an archer myth unit. We saw them last campaign a bit. And some cavalry benefits. Well, I'm going to go for Ares. This will be quite useful. Basically, my mission here is to defeat. Um, to defeat. What's his face? The Kamos. I won this ship battle over here. Motor rems. So basically, I need to get some wood now. This guy's sort of praying to the gods. I have a, this to my temple. My temple can produce Pegasi just for fun. I might actually create one just as a scout, send one about the map of it. Like my time's going to create a hero, Theseus. Might as well, I haven't got any other choice or anything. I'm still in the classical age, I haven't actually researched Ares yet. So this is what I'm doing up here. I had to wait till my time was busy creating units. Some pigs. For some reason I'm not getting those pigs under my control. They're sort of farmer animals, and when you go near them, they become yours. Some spearmen. A little bit of a corner of the map. Ooh. And oh, the enemy town center. Oh god, this town is going to see me. And then you buy some storehouses. Um, Towers, axe, fix some more spearmen. Oh, it died. So, I'm going to use my Poseidon lure power. Which is. My Poseidon's god power is lure. Which lures farm animals to it. Basically, picks, picks them out of nowhere. Um, I'm going to get Hippolyta. Oh, he's actually done nothing. I'm gonna get another house, might as well. Then I'm gonna start building a barracks and an archery range. I can also produce a cyclops. Not yet, I need some more faith. These people are finished, so I'm gonna build a granary. Just so I can get some of these chickens. Yeah, I've just like found this deer, just wonder about. Some military buildings. I build a sentry tower when I can. So it's just sailing around the island. So I hit one there. This is research. Masons improves my building defense. Don't think I need it really. But iron's quite small. 
Another black sail. Pirate ship. How do we get this ship doing something? I might just sail it around the other end of the island. Um, I should probably get some more wood. I do need more wood. Because I need to build some buildings. I can get in this breath. Let's see if I can go to Cyclops. I can go to Cyclops. Oh, yeah. This person's free. Got to get his pig. Um, get some gold. I need some gold as well. No one's done. This is how many people are actually farming stuff. Oh, both. It's still alive. My other Twitter. Um, Oh, we found a shipwreck. Got 600 gold of gold and 400 wood from it. I'm gonna go around here. So we can make some havoc with Kingmas' base if I can reach it. Um, I've got a nice big, uh, big old Cyclops there. Can't really get my other, other Cyclopses. Let's get some Toxitoes. That sounds like a population limit. Medium matches and get. If I try and get Enya's birth horror, just to, just to bulk up my archers. Probably build an army soon. A little, ba little bay. I shouldn't probably die soon. Yeah, it died. These pigs sort of fatten up uh, through time. So they get to like, it might be like some large value in any, so then, you, then they can be found for maximum, maximum profit. I'm going to shot by a tower. Do want to get out of this range of that? All slingers, they're going to start killing me. We destroy this black sail. Obviously, I should do better against human units. Some big, bulky ship shooting arrows. But they, um, they uh, do outnumber me. I'll get rid of three of my health each time. This so any bike seems keen. I'll stay right here. I don't mind if I die. Get some increase in my attack. Basically, I want to get as much. Nope, can't. Get when it's 80 more faith. Get, get as big as I as possible and just blitz the town centre. Might put my army up here. Oh, I've run out of. Let's build some farms. These farms are unlimited. But they're a bit slow. And then, oops, I have one guy hunting deer. I have another guy hunting that as well. So I'm reaching in my population limit. Got another house. There's limited population cap, but I've gone with the maximum there is. But each house does 10, and the town site does 15. Town sites can only be built on settlements, so you can't just build them willy nilly. And they're only available in age 3? I don't know, can't remember. I can't build one now, so that seems to be the likely option. I can't actually advance to age 3, this is 
sort of something that should sort of a when you, you should only really need to do this in the second age. Oh god, I'm being attacked. I'm being the town bell. Town bell is sort of all my units come back and it gives a boost to my town center, I believe. Yeah, 19 boosted 19 attack. Keeps my villagers safe. When everything's done, I can. Oops. One. Control deselects. Shift selects when I just put a massive box around so I can just pick. Oops, I did a bit too quick. Just get Hippolyta and Theseus and the Cyclops. Also, some, some Toxitane, so I get on, get anything on the act. But Cyclops' power move is to hurl a unit across the sky. Right, that was a right click. Shift control. Yep. Get Bay back up to my army. Hopefully, that'll be the last of them. Oh, no, they came from this side. Ugh. So, in so, in so inconsiderate they are. Axeman, no chance of surviving. Let's get ready to make a mo mosey on down there. Get a bit of dock and have like a two pronged attack. Put a dock. I'm just trying to put it way too far out. <laughs> the, deer, the gazelle has to be out of the way. Well, the deer has to be out of the way first. Might get rid of dock. Got another, got to get another gold miner. I think one of them died in the attack. I'll sacrifice a faith for a hunter. Because I don't really need much faith anymore. Get some more Toxitase. Yeah, even though they'll be on the go, we'll be fine. Got a Hippocampus, which can be used as a scout. I sort of Poseidon automatically summons them every time. One at a time, they die, and so I get a true um, yeah, arrow ship. Gonna get hammer ships. It's sort of a rock paper scissors, um, sort of for ships as well as for. I'll pick up the pigs down here. So rock paper scissors for ships as well as for units. So like hammer ships, seed ships, and arrow ships. The three of them is an airship, and so are the black, pipe black, the black sail ships we, that we faced earlier. I think I'm almost ready to go. I've got I've maxed out my population limit, essentially. So seems wise just for me to just one mosey on when this nest toxicities comes up. It just yeah. Oh, I'm stuck now. I'm gonna I'm getting other cyclops on the on the go. And then onwards we go to the city. Aggressive stance. My default stance is defensive because that seems to be best, like, overall. Because stand ground means they don't move. Defensive means that they, they when they attack, once they attack, they come back to a certain location. And, um,. And then when they come back. Um, I wonder if I could build another house. I don't know what my population limit is. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna use my cyclopses to kill the towers. I don't know where he. I don't know where he's going. First, kill the anabite. Please kill her. Let's kill that. Put my scout kills the protobolus as well. Cavalry tend to be good against siege weapons. Because they are. So I need to kill Camus's ten center is my aim. I could go straight for the town centre. I don't really want to go too because I'll be I'll be in the range of the town centre, like here. I'm gonna kill this catapult with my last dying breath and run away. Probably gonna die, but I can revive him later. Oh, what are you doing? I'm gonna retreat and I'm gonna send down my units and go back to defensive stance. My hero has been revived. And my hero. 
I'm gonna get a couple of tri rams and send them here. And then I'm gonna run away and wait for them to come towards me. Stand ground. I have pestilence them. So they can't produce any more units now. If you're building, you can right click and that sets a rally point. It's very helpful. I'm stopping the, the dark and dark from training units just for a bit, just so I can get my troops to the front line. So I haven't got much gold. I've also lost Theseus. Oh, I might win this battle. So that's Pestilence run out, so now we can get some more units. Unfortunately, got automatically got a new ship. No, I didn't actually. I didn't actually kill it. That's very awkward of me. <laughs> that was awkward. So now the ship's gone. I could be a bit more rushed. Should be just. Got an aggressive stance. And I'm gonna have these attack the town centre because they're my like they're couldn't run like them like my siege infantry. And the music's changed to highlight me being attacking them. Need to kill this alabite. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. Let's be destroyed. Oh, Camus is running away. I'm gonna chase. Oh, we use Plague of Serpents, but I'm just gonna chase Camus away. <laughs> oh, we're going off the end of the cliff. Plague of Serpents, I think it's Apophysis, I'm not sure. His. his I'm actually dying here. Wasn't the wise thing to chase after him. Take that. Take that. Take and that. And that. Yeah, got him to like half out. This sort of end of the scenario. That's the end of chapter two. Nice little cutscene probably going along. I don't want to say probably means that I haven't done this campaign before. Chase him away. That's an interesting snort. The one handed Minotaur. Interesting that he speaks. That's a very that's a impressive jump on that Leviathan. Technically Poseidon it's not Poseidon's creature, but oh well. I wouldn't pick up the trident, I haven't seen anything there, I should pick that up. Okay, this is, thank you for watching, Age of Mythology's first parts. Um, again, for the next continuation of the Age of Mythology campaign. And like this video if you enjoyed it, and see you next time.